in Solid Edge 2021, the uh, concept of internal components was created um, primarily to um, import assemblies from other products and um, have the whole structure stored within the assembly rather than having to create multiple um, separate parts on disk. And um, it was used to be able to um, create and modify um, those. So in Solid Edge 2022, um, this has been expanded. So we still have the internal component structures um, where um, we've got uh, references to parts. Um, as you can see here, we've got um, one part within the internal components, but down here we've got individual references to that individual part. So it's only holding the one reference within the assembly um, and um, allows us to sort of store that in a lot more streamlined fashion. So, um, you know, if you, if you go in, you can still um, go and edit a component. You can see here, um, even though it's sort of positioned elsewhere, um, it's stored in a specific location uh, when you go and edit it. So um, we're now classifying this as assembly modeling. Um, it means we can have multiple parts and um, work with them individually. So let's take a look at um, creating um, something else. Um, actually, we, if we look here, um, you can see in the reference section, um, we still have the uh, concept of having um, individual relationships applied um, to the components. And um, yeah, let's, let's look at creating a new part in place. So um, normally you'd have the uh, concept of create part in place. So we now have a, a new option of create, create internal component. So if we click on here, um, we have the options of whether we want to create the component and stay in the assembly or just um, create and edit it. And obviously similar to create in place, you've got the option to ground it. So we can go in here and um, you can choose your material if you wish. Um, as I said, you can ground and you can um, name this um, part. So we'll give that a name here and accept it. So that then goes in and um, creates it. You see that we sort of move into a um, design environment now. So we've got singleness. If we want to, we can still go to ordered. So it's pretty much the same as what you would do in working in a um, standard part environment. Um, this sort of menus are pretty much the same as well. So let's go and create a rectangle by two points. And if I hover over a plane, I can still um, lock it, same as what you would do normally. And um, we can sort of reference other geometry as well. So um, I can come down here, I can specify sizes as you would normally and um, create a shape. I also want to create a uh, circle by center and I can just go in and specify that information there. Um, one of the other new things in 2022 is the um, sort of uh, options that come up when you click on an element. I want to go straight into Smart Dimension. All I need to do is um, click on there and likewise on the circle so we can sort of define those sizes if we wish. And unlock the plane. So from here, what we're looking at doing is just creating this block. And um, as you know, we can create multiple regions. 
and I'm going to use this key point here. So we see we're, we're using key points from the um, other components within the um, internal components. Then I can go in and um, extrude if I change to single profile. I can pick up on that circle. Right mouse click, and again I can use a point on here to define that. So that's created our guide block. Um, you can see that it works similar. Um, everything else is ghosted out. So we can close the assembly modeling environment from here. And you'll see that we've got it sort of roughly in place. Um, obviously, when other things move, um, it's not quite right, but um, we can we can do the relationships in one of two ways. We could either um, go in and use the assembly relationship assistant. Um, I want to use parts currently shown as the second select set. And um, that's going to be my first. I can uh, choose which relationships I want, go process. Um, so as you can tell, um, we've allowed offset. So if I click on here, it's showing that one. I'm going to want this to move, so I'm going to turn that one off and go accept, close and finish. So now if I click on my guide, you'll see that we have a couple of relationships in here. And um, I can then go into edit definition and create a third one just um, like you would normally. So I can go uh, create a relationship between there and the center of the slot. And if you see, we're now sort of nicely centered on there. And that um, defines um, the position of that. Now um, I'm going to want one. Um, for the other side as well. So I'm going to use the copy command and just drag this out, just rotate it around so I can sort of get it roughly in the right sort of place. Drop that in. Um, I'm going to repair unsatisfied relationships and replace the other components only where possible. And I want to use that one as my reference. And I'm going to suppress other relationships. So you can see that the um, arm path relationship is um, not working. So we'll go back in here and use edit definition on there. And for that second step, you can see it's still selecting that one. So we'll deselect that one. And we can do the same here to position it. And we now have that sort of positioned in here. So um, just to sort of see how this all works, um, we can, um, you'll see that here that we have a, a motor option as well, um, but we can sort of then go into drag component um, and I'll use that as my um, point. And you'll see that we now have a functioning mechanism, even though these are all um, internal components. So um, you can see that that's working quite nicely. Um, and um, you may then decide that you want to make some changes. So we can sort of go to um, a few of the parts. So if you go to arm and guide, and um, then if we right mouse click and go edit, that takes us into um, the edit environment. And you'll see that we've got the um, features of all of those items within the um, uh, selected set. So you can see here, um, we've got the slot width. So let's say, let's change that to six. And you'll see that change 
and I've also got my dimension on here as well so I could do that or I could just pick the um, circumference of the part and you'll see that that will change as well so then when we close back out you'll notice that the whole thing has updated and um, yeah allows us a lot more flexibility so you can now create these internal components um, and import them as well so this just gives you a, um, a good indication on sort of some of those capabilities um, one of the other things that may um, be of interest is that the properties even though they are internal components and only stored within the assembly um, we can go in and update the assembly um, and get their properties of the whole assembly together. So I hope you find this informative and um, yeah, one of the one of another one of the great um, new features added into Solid Edge 2022.